We've got Mr. Van Brock over now with his sail. <laughs> so we're going to talk about sails with Stephen. Um, we've got the 4A Wizard. Yeah. It's quite a talked about sail in the freestyle world. Um, again, I'm going to go back to the day when I used to freestyle. We didn't really have freestyle sails. We just used wave sails. Wave sails yeah. Things have moved on and there is quite some benefit to using a freestyle sail now. Yeah. Uh, and that's what I want to ask you about. Do you want to go through some of the main points of having a freestyle sail, how it maybe can help people? I think the biggest benefit about the freestyle sail, you can use almost as one square meter smaller than a wave sail. Yeah. I mean, the freestyle sails, they give much more drive, so you get really quickly in planing. Yeah. And um, a freestyle sail also needs to be stable, like for example, for ducking maneuvers. Yeah. And it needs to keep the power for the moves. So you want to keep the power over the whole sail. Yeah, that's quite yeah. key, isn't it? Because I, like I say, you want to go on the smallest sail you can because you're throwing it around, yeah. you're trying to do all these moves. If you've yeah. got the bigger sail, you don't want that. So these sails are very tight leached yeah. as well. Really so tight, yeah. that helps keep the power. Yeah, I kind exactly. of explain them a bit like a spoon. Yeah. They, they kind of hold, but yeah. they, they're giving at the same yeah. time. Um, ducking, what, what makes a sail good for ducking? I mean, when you were talking about ducking, we were on about when you um, do like a duck tap going yeah. along, I mean, for people who don't know. Actually, yeah, it's, it's really hard to find how, how we can make a sail ducking right, but actually the, the main part is the loose leech. If you have a sail with a lot of loose leech, I don't think you will find a sail with a lot of loose leech, which is easy to duck. Right. So all the wave sails are pretty hard and ducking yeah you can try to put uh, less loose leech in the wave sail but then the problem is you don't have enough tension on the mast yeah so that's what we did with the freestyle sails you can see we have much more love curve than in the wave sail yeah so it tied it the leech with with the same tension on the mast and on the wave sail okay pretty much yeah, yeah. so like I say tight sail also it's got to go neutral because obviously when you duck yeah. you're not pulling in the power yeah. you're, you're letting go so the sail has to go sail flat. Gales neutral also the dacron helps a little bit to make the sail dacron, back yeah. to yeah back to neutral but uh, i really like the feeling also of the dacron it gives you it gives you a soft power but gives you more the pull to the front because we are riding so small fins so you want to get the power pushing to the front you don't want to have the backhand power because then you you're not moving that quick. You yeah. need to. You need to have the drive to keep going. Yeah, and the thing is, when you duck in, you'll go neutral, yeah. and then you have to power the sail. Yeah, up. exactly. So where do you then get the power from? What's what, what generates the power in this sail? There's a lot of depth in it, I'm guessing. I think it's basically over the the whole sail. It's okay. Just like boom, and you know, if you have loose leech, you will. If something, some sails also have too much. They starts to crack or twist. Yeah, twist the top. And then you lose the control and you lose lift. We try to make the sail as that it's the power stays in the whole length of the sail, so it gives the maximum power and maximum lift. Yeah. So it's really like booming. So, so I mean, when you push that sail in, it, I mean, it's super deep, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like a suspension. You know? Yeah. I mean, how far does it go? Does it touch the boom no, when you're sailing? I almost mean, not. I mean, you can see a little bit, but it's really, really like the pride boom. The it used to be quite wide, although this one doesn't look this very one, wide. This one is uh, the new, the new boom. The, okay. the previous one had a little wider tail, yeah, but uh, but had a S S shape, yeah. And so it was touching more from here to the back. So this one has a more no one, yeah. normal shape with the with the smaller tail. So actually, it has a better better shaping in this. Gives also better shaping in your sail because okay. if it touches in the middle, it, you lose a bit the profile. Uh, Bat tension. What, what's your feel on baton tension? I did hear a rumor the other yeah. day, Kiri Toda doesn't even tighten his batons or something. Is this a rumor or is this... Is this no, does it's this true. It's true. Um, I also start playing a bit more with the baton tension. It also really depends on the sail. It depends sometimes on the size. It can help with, with a bit less tension. Sometimes it helps with... Um, the sail gets a bit quicker when you want to duck the sail. Okay. It's a bit is a bit uh, neutral Goes feeling neutral yeah neutral if you have more tension it, it's stable but it goes a bit slower so i would not okay. recommend to people to put no tension on it okay. i mean it's normally the sails are designed to put uh, tension on the baton and it gives also stability but sometimes i also play a bit i put a bit less for example on, the, on my 5-1 i put the tension off and then it feels a little bit like a smaller sail and 
a bit quicker to okay. to and, to and how about in, inflating it you're obviously going to lose a little bit of stability when you take the baton tension off but a bit but you still have the same shape so the wind the wind the wind is in there the wrinkles yeah. also pretty i mean gone it's yeah yeah it get, gives a bit more baggy feeling maybe yeah okay uh anything else i mean you've only got one clue length on this i can see you've got your boom pretty high yeah normal well, for you, you're right. a tall bloke. That's that's pretty high for me. Normal position. Uh, harness lines. I mean, yeah, I, I every, know everyone says I put them far to the back. Yeah, they look really <laughs> far to the back. I mean, but it also depends how you have a high high, boom. You have a higher boom, so more to the back. Lengthwise uh, doesn't really matter, does it? I have 30 inch. Like I think it's a good size. Don't go too short. I mean, you have more control with the longer lines. Does it does it matter about hooking in? Because obviously you're doing lots of moves uh, where you're throwing the sail around. If they're too long. Can you accidentally hook in? I mean, they're quite short <laughs> in a wave sailing. They're, yeah, for terms. waves. Yeah, wave sailors, they are like. We have like thirty. You guys are like so hanging in the sail. You yeah. Know? No, but I think thirty is good for me. It's good. Okay. Too short is not. Uh, but also the reason is, a lot of people still put the harness lines too far in freestyle, and then they, they lose also the the drive on the. Still, again, we have small fins, so we want to have the power more forward. So we move the Not harness. Pushing the back of the board. Exactly. Out sort of don't pump too much. Don't go with backhand power, because this pushes automatically on the back feet of yeah. the board. You want to have the power to the front and like push the front feet. It gives you much, much more drive, and you will be quicker in planing. Yeah. It's a good tip actually that because it, it is the way you pump. Yeah. I, we have it the same with our wave sails. Yeah. They're quite front pulling and yeah. you have to power the front power of the, the sail. Front, yeah. It's easy to get catapulted. Yeah. You know, when you're learning it's quite an easy yeah. thing to do. But yeah. when you get the technique it's actually quite and also efficient. when the wind gets a bit lighter, you know, you, you still have that power a bit more to the front and when it gets like strong automatically gets more to the center. Yes. So then you're sailing normal. Sometimes in the light wind, I'm sailing like fully stretched out like this. Yeah. In front and, but then you keep planing, you yeah. know, you don't, if you have the harness line here and it's light and it, you start pumping and you, you straight stop yeah. planing. Exactly. Just keeping the pan in the front. Yeah. Uh, just a bit more about boom length. Is the boom, how, what does it work out as a wave sail? Is it a bit <coughs> narrower? I'm yeah, guessing? it's narrow. We have a more narrow boom compared to the wave sails and a uh, longer mast. Uh, the reason for this is, uh, it makes the sail uh, i mean it rotates faster in okay. the moves yeah makes a much lot of sense quick. okay you really feel the difference. Uh, you've got like does this do anything or is this just for this is uh Oops. all the neoprite uh, the wave sails have that too just a bit of strength it, for yeah it's uh, some some gives some extra strength also it uh i think it divides the 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 tension over the whole sail okay well, there you go. Yeah. That's a freestyle sail. Yeah. Uh, so there's your tips. Um, <laughs> yeah. you apparently, you've got to buy a freestyle sail if you want to go freestyle. That makes a big difference I mean, these days. I would say you can start with any sail, but it, it depends which level you go. A freestyle yeah. sail, also even if you don't do freestyle, a freestyle sail is really easy to ride. Because you could use a smaller one. Yeah, exactly. And it gives you more stability and drive. Okay, there you go. Freestyle okay. sails with Steven van Brockhoven. Um, I'm Bas Miller, you turn into windsurfing.tv, the sickest channel in the windsurfing world.